What is going on guys? My name is Ram, back again from Ram Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Boarding School Juliet. I'm trying to fix my uh, pop mic really quickly so it's not too in the way. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, I am ready to jump into this episode. I am actually feeling pretty good. I just came back from work so I'm a little bit tired as per usual. But I know I'm probably going to make my own video on it but we got Joker and Smash and I'm so I'm super happy. I'm wearing my uh, No More Rules, which is uh, Ryuji's um, actual, uh, which is Ryuji's actual <laughs> shirt, but uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that, because that made me really happy. I woke up this morning at like 2 o'clock in the morning because I had to go to work, so I went to sleep really early, so I missed the Game Awards, and I woke up to see Joker was in Smash Brothers, gonna be in Smash Brothers, and I lost my shit. I was crying. I, I'm not even lying. I was crying, but enough of that. We're about to watch episode 10 of Boarding School Juliet, so now this is going to be the episode where we get to see Inazuka's uh, brother. So I'm really interested on seeing how they're going to work that out. So guys, without further ado, let us jump in to Boarding School Juliet, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. I always have to add this, like, little copyright thing. Oh yeah, that's right. That's this is where it ended. Yep. You done fucked up. Why is here? Head Prefect. I forgot how old he was, like, older. I think he's, like, two or three years older than him. Alright, so, as per usual, I'm blocking the actual uh, intro. But, um, yeah. Also, you guys can see... My ramen shirt. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool, though. My little ramen... Ramen shirt. You know how hard it is to do that when you're doing a mirror... It's hard, but yeah, um, so, I am thoroughly wondering how they're gonna portray him. I mean, thankfully, they've been portraying the characters pretty well in the, uh, in the show, so that's a plus. Um, but yeah, had to turn on my alarm, because I had to wake up at midnight. Um, I'm wondering how this is going to work out, the show. Like I said, I wonder, like... It's been so long since I've read the manga. In fact, I, I don't think it's... I don't even think the manga has been updated in a minute. Hold on, let me check. When was the last time the manga has been updated? It's been a minute. I feel like... Watch, I'm going to say that and then it's going to be updated like right now. I feel like. Is, did it update today? It did not. When was the last time this, that actually updated? Unless I, mi unless I totally missed it. Yeah, I'm scrolling pretty far down. I am not even seeing it. There it is. Um, let's see. It last time it got updated was almost was over a month ago, I think. Interesting. Oh, Shabby. There you go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> He's intimidating. Husky's like throwing herself under the bus to do it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> she immediately turned on that one. Hey, being a lap dog for Char, is, there's nothing wrong with that.
disown him. Because she loves him. Don't touch me. His voice actor sounds really... Jesus. No, but, um... The brother's voice actor sounds very familiar. I'll probably look into that later. <laughs> well, at least he has a soft spot. Oh man, how I forgot how they got around this. Which is interesting though. I don't remember much like I know that they were a powerful family, but they didn't really explain too much that I can remember um of of why they're so powerful. I don't know if they just have a lot of influence or something like that. But they never really introduced the mom or dad that I can remember. I mean that might be and I might just be stupid. But mm. Do they look cute? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> poison tester, Jesus Christ. I mean, as long as you don't, as long as you don't change the salt to sh uh, the sugar to salt, you're kind of good. Compared to what they were. I don't know. I, I feel like it, it would be hard to mess up cookies. It would be really hard to mess up cookies. As long as you just, you know, keep a good eye on it. You're kind of good. You can't really fuck the ingredients. Really. Go get beat up again, Scott. Go get beat up again. That's all you're good for. Or go to heaven and stay there. I don't like Scott. Hmm. It definitely has that dignified look to him. Now, this is the thing. Is she going to start piecing... Is she going to start piecing it together? <laughs> I forgot. That's pretty fucking open. He's out there outside. I 
I know this. I know the secret, but yeah. Using a, f I forgot the name of that, but it's like a horse whip. Unless that's the name of it, but I thought there was an actual name for it. I don't remember that. It's getting closer. She knows. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You should. I mean, she's smart, so she should be able to pace it together. I forgot. Is there? Is there thirty-one or thirty days in June? I think there's only thirty. Oh, yep. Okay, so yeah, there is only 30 days. I never want to have another birthday party. Isn't... Aren't they called Shinai? The wooden swords? I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, I remember. Okay, I remember some things about this thing. I'm not letting him rest. Yeah, I mean, he has that air about him. Oh. Good girl, Husky. Damn it. All the girls in this fucking show are good. Except for that other girl. The, uh, girl with the blonde hair. Somali. I don't like her. Maybe because I didn't give enough, like, backstory to her. And not like I don't like her. It just, compared to the other girls, she don't, they don't hold the can. She doesn't hold the candle. It's a risk he's willing to take. Now that I think about it, I think Hasaki always had like a third... Always talked in third person. Oh my god, that's so cute. God damn it. That blush, though. That blush, though. So, I mean, she knows it's wrong, but I'm so... Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, she doesn't know about the whole expulsion part. But she didn't realize that there's something going on. How old is she turning? 17? 18? 17. I'm assuming 17. He's got something in a fight for.
No. Gut shots are pretty damn. <laughs> Knock them out. This is a pure counter, too. His eyes are wetted up. Ah, I forgot about that. I forgot. You know, having two little girls on your bed is, uh... Not a good look. They see the determined look in him. See, it's weird though, like you can even hear that she's, even she's, <laughs> you can even see though that, um, Terio, uh, Terio, is Terio? Yeah, Terio even talks with the third person kind of dialect? Can't think of the word, but, like she even said Terio, like me, I know Hotsky does it a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth it. He's got more things to worry about than his wounds. But then he would always crash it because he wouldn't know how to. Yeah, uh, the wounds are catching up to him. I mean, honestly, he got hit with, uh, he only got hit in the gut, which wouldn't cause too much damage. It's not like he got hit in the spleen or the kidney. That would cause, like, even the punch, it wouldn't cause him to be that dizzy. Because it was a straight blow to the face. If it wasn't a hit blow to the temple. I, I, I watch a lot of fighting shit. It shouldn't do that much stuff. Especially, like, yeah. And of course, she's here to the rescue. I 
Oh, she's gonna blame herself. How are they going to end this episode? I have a feeling they might end it at one point. Hmm. I think I know how they're going to end this episode. For ex yeah, it's been I've been recording for about 22 minutes, so yeah. Yep. I want you to be safe. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I mean. <laughs> She's gonna say it. But she can't. I felt like they were going she was going to say we should break up. I have to admit they pulled that off really well with the whole making it seem like there was a lot of real emotion behind it. It felt very believable is what I'm trying to say. And that is a really good thing that they did. Very glad that they did that. Very glad, actually. Because... It did it really well. It showed how much she was hurting, seeing him hurt. And... I That was a good episode. In terms of development between Persia... That was a really good episode. That was a really good episode. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll just show where it is. I want to see if there's an ending. It's it's hard to put into words. Like, I know how the next episode is going to end, I feel like. I don't know. I I'm just not too sure. Alright, so what's next? Alright, so that's the end of that episode. I, I do apologize for not talking too much. Um, I kind of felt like I was really <clears throat> I was really silent in a lot of spots. Uh, but easily, this was probably the best uh, episode in terms of like showing the real feelings of Persia and how she feels just so... Um, she just feels super... She feels responsible. Um, yeah, she feels really responsible for all, uh, everything. And that's the sad part. But it makes sense. Like, I had a feeling she... Like I said, I had the feeling she was going to bring up the whole maybe we should break up. And I don't remember if that's in the manga. I'm not entirely sure. But it was still a good episode. What did you guys think about the episode? It was a lot better than um, than I remember in the manga. But like I said, it's been a while since I read the manga. In fact, that chapter I haven't touched yet. Um, we'll see what happens. Like I said, there's only two more episodes. Um... 
So we'll see how this wraps up. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for Goblin Slayer episode 10? 9. One of those episodes. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.